if you find yourself in China, you're gonna definitely want to try the amazing food that is there. Now, having lived in China for many, many years, I wanted to share with you my top five fake foods you need to watch out for when eating in China. And let me tell you, the last one you do not want to miss. So here we go, fake beef. Because of the high cost of beef, a lot of doors will cut corners by taking cheaper meats such as duck and pork and mixing those together along with beef tendons and beef flavor. So then add a gelatin-like substance to mimic the texture of beef and sew that back as real beef. Safe way around this is to make sure you see the butchering happen before buying the meat. Number 2. Fake Rice it is strange to say that rice can be made in plastic and this video was something that I saw on WeChat while living in China and it is basically plastic bags being thrown into a machine, is stretching it out and melting it and then cutting it into what seems to be rice. From what I knew living in China, lots of rice that you buy in the supermarket were mixed with this plastic rice and the only way to really know if your rice was real or not was to put the rice in a cup or a bowl of water and the rice that floated to the top was typically the plastic rice that needed to be thrown out. Number 3. Fake Eggs It did shock me when I was living in China that when you buy a dozen eggs, sometimes there would be fakes in the batch. You can see this because these fake eggs are made without a membrane connecting the yolk to the whites and also the shells will cut unnaturally when you're cracking them open. So this is two ways you can tell if the egg is not fresh. Also the yolk will be completely dense and not necessarily be as soft as a typical natural egg yolk. Number 4. Fake Tofu Now tofu is one of the cheaper foods and nutritious foods you can get in China but believe it or not this can also be faked. If you're out in the market and you're buying tofu and it seems overly firm, almost brick-like, it probably should not be eaten. This woman is explaining how she got tofu and how it was basically smelling like a chemical and it was too dense for her to cut through. These chemicals can be really, really dangerous to your health, so definitely be on alert when you're buying tofu from local markets. Like what you're hearing so far? Be sure to like and subscribe for more information about this. We cover all types of foods around the world and the top things you need to try. So, moving on. Lastly, number five, fake cooking oil. Believe it or not, what you're seeing here is oil being taken out of a gutter and put in containers to be reused in local restaurants. If you've been in China long enough, you've eaten this oil in your food. Here, you have a woman taking the spicy chili oil out of a dumpster that's been used in spicy chili hot pot. Oil in China is quite often recycled and reused over and over again. And as you can see from this video, that recycled oil is being used over and over. Sometimes people are confronted like this man who's confronted for pulling the oil out of the sewer to use at his restaurant and he quickly apologized and left. But this happens so often in China that if you're eating in a restaurant and you do not know where the oil or the sauce is coming from, likely you're probably going to try at least once a recycled oil. So there you have it. Having lived in China for over four years, I can say that the food in China is amazing. It was some of the best food I've ever had, but it doesn't come without its risks. It's good to know that no matter what country you live in, you're going to see things like this happening. Even here in America, we have fake food, so look out for that video coming. But it's always good to stay on alert, know what you're looking at, and know what you are looking for when it comes to fake foods. Hope this was interesting for you guys. We'll talk to you soon.